Hello, my name's Craig Barton, and welcome to a video explaining how you can assign a quiz to your classes. Now it's dead, dead easy to do this, and you could choose to either assign a quiz that you yourself have created, and if you want to know how to do this, just watch the previous video in this series, or you can choose to assign a quiz that's been created by somebody else. Either way, the first thing you need to do is to be logged in and then click on the quizzes tab. And when you're here, you'll see some of the hundreds of quizzes that have been um, uploaded and shared on the website. You can choose to filter by subject if you want. So if you just want the maths quizzes, click on maths. And then if you just want the algebra ones and so on. Um, or you can search for a specific uh, name for a quiz. So my year 11s are a little bit dodgy at circle theorems. So I'm going to see if there's any circle theorems quizzes available on the website. And there you go. It's found four of them. Um, I like the look of this quiz here, so let's let's click on this one, see if this one's uh, any good. Um, so it's a circle theorems quiz, and I've got options here where I can either download it as a paper copy, I can like it, I can embed it, or because this is my quiz, I can edit it. But this is a very useful one here, that, because this gives you a little preview of the quiz, so you can see whether it's the right le difficulty level for your class. So it's a five-question quiz, yep, yeah, I like the look of that. And when you're happy with it, simply click assign to class and the rest is pretty self-explanatory there's the name of the quiz then you've just got to choose your class and um, so i'm looking for my year 11 ones with my 20 students in it there you can write a, a comment if you want i normally say something like please give a full explanations uh, choose a start date um, with the calendar so you can choose the, for this to start tomorrow if you want uh, choose an end date it's defaulted to be a week in the future but you can set it whenever you want so i think i'll have that in for monday uh, you can be a bit more specific on the time if you want and then simply click create and that's it done and dusted and the next time your students uh, log in um, and it's past the start date they will see that quiz set for them and it immediately takes you to your assignments page so i can see there there's the quiz i've just set it was for that class that's when it's been set, that's when it's due in, and this gives me a nice kind of visual summary of how many students have attempted it. So you can see from my previous uh, quizzes here with my year eight, 13 finished that at 25, and I can also get a bit a bit of a rough idea of how well they're doing on that. Um, the next thing you'll want to do once your students have answered the quiz is know how to analyze it, and that's another video in this series. So either follow the links on the blog, or simply click on learn how to videos, and you'll be taken to a page where you can access them all from there. Take care and bye for now.